I love fish tacos, um, but you can go two ways with fish tacos. You could do fried fish tacos, mm. which usually have a heavy creamy mm -hmm. mayonnaise or sour cream based sauce, or you could do grilled fish tacos. Of course, today's show has been about weight loss, lean proteins. So we're gonna start with a couple of pounds of Mai Mai, or you can use halibut or cod. You must ask though, please remember, because the oceans are here for the whole planet, just make sure you're buying sustainable. And That's you can right. do that at your big box stores. I've seen sustainable fish signs at down at the Target. That's right. So <laughs> just, be, uh, you know, just be smart when That's you right. buy your seafood and make Respons sure that- Responsibly the farm. Yep. Right. So I have a two-step process when I'm making the grilled fish tacos. Okay. First, I'm getting my cast iron griddle pan or your outdoor grill if, if you prefer. I like nice that. and hot over medium-high heat. Remember, if you're using cast iron, you clean it with salt and you always put it away by rubbing it while it's still warm with a little bit of oil. It's okay. called seasoning your pan. Okay. You have to keep yeah, it well yeah. seasoned. So for every couple of pounds of fish, I take about a teaspoon each of smoked sweet paprika or pimenton. Mm -hmm cumin, which is spicy but not hot. Yep, I like cumin. Yeah, I love cumin. Um, and coriander, kind of like cumin's best friend. Mm -hmm. They hang out together. They, uh, you know, they dig each other's there vibe. There you go. A little, a little salt, salt and pepper. Okay. Right, now this is our dry spice. Okay. And you sprinkle that evenly, and whenever we're seasoning, we season from above kind of make it rain on your food. <laughs> make so it rain, that, I like so, Right, so that you can see that you're distributing the spices and the salt, most importantly, yep. evenly over your fish. Yep. You wanna pick a fish that's nice and firm. Again, halibut's great, cod is good, mai mai is fine. Pick a fish that's firm, tell the uh, fish uh, professional in your grocery store or your fishmonger what you're using it for, and then you're gonna have a lot of choices. Go with the cheapest, go with That's the right. best price. Right. Um, I also do believe you should get your seafood same day. This isn't something, or maybe the night before, but it's not something where you bring home my mind and leave it in the fridge for a couple of days. Right. And when you're buying fish, you don't want any separation. That flesh should be nice and firm, mm -hmm. and you don't want to see any little separation in the meat of the filet or the steak. It should be nice and uh, bouncy, really. Kind mm -hmm. of a good spring to it. Yep. When it starts to separate, that means the seafood's starting to get old on you, uh, okay? okay? Okay. So for the wet part of this, we're gonna make a marinade now. So we've done our dry spice, now this is the wet. We have chipotle and adobo, okay, comes in a can. If you want extra spicy, you can use the whole can. It's about a seven ounce can. If you want it medium to mild, you can use a quarter of a can for mild, a half a can for medium. That's what I have in here. Four chipotle and adobo. Okay. That's a smoked jalapeno in vinegar and spices. So we're mm. getting more flavor with that sauce. Okay. To that, we're gonna add a little bit of sweetness. You can add honey or even easier, we have agave. light agave that you're okay. gonna use in the coleslaw. Okay. We're gonna add a little light agave to give it sweetness. Okay. We're gonna give it acidity with lime juice. Ooh. That's Lime why we're, goes with anything, by the way. Yeah, it really <laughs> does. And we're not going to let this set too long. If you let this set with lime juice, something like fish that's very delicate, mm -hmm. you're gonna turn it into ceviche, you're gonna cook it. <laughs> so we're adding the acidity, but we gotta get this sucker on the grill. Okay. So we've got a little bit of sweetness, we've got acidity, we've got smoky heat from the chipotle, a uh, little bit of EVOO down in there Always. to keep it from sticking yep. uh, to our grill and for flavor, of course. And then we're gonna grate in oh, about an inch or so of ginger. You know, most Love people don't ginger. know that Mexican and Latin dishes often use ginger. Yep. I think people just think of ginger um, when they think of Asian food. Nope. Not true, they also use it a lot in that yep. cuisine. And then a couple of fat cloves of garlic. Of course. Okay. Now Ian, while I'm whizzing this up and dressing that, you start on our slaw. Okay. Uh, I call this margarita slaw, because it begins with two shots of tequila. <laughs> so okay. throw it in there, throw everything in there. Glass, pour out two shots. Okay. Now don't worry, most of the alcohol will burn off when you <laughs> throw it on the grill. Oh no, we're just eating it as slaw. Two of these? No, seriously, if you're making this for your family, you can omit the tequila. It's just kind of a fun, if you're feeding grown-ups, what the heck. Okay. You're gonna have tequila anyway to go with the margaritas. That's right. So we're gonna pour in white vinegar. Yeah. We're gonna pour in a little vegetable oil or safflower oil, light in color, light in flavor oil. Whisk that up. I'm gonna sprinkle in a little celery seed as I do with every slaw salad, about a teaspoon. A little salt and pepper. Okay. 
And then again, for a touch of sweetness, that oh, light gummies. agave. Yeah. Right? And then you're gonna juice in a couple of limes. It really is like making a margarita. Juice the limes into here. Okay. You just stand that up. And then we're going to combine it with shredded cabbage, half of a head of red or white cabbage, half of a red onion, and a little cilantro or flat leaf parsley. We've got these guys just flipped. This is my my. Any sturdy, sustainable fish will do. Now we're gonna go with our um, crema sauce. Okay. Instead of doing a heavy mayonnaise-based sauce, we're really just going to whiz up an avocado, Ooh, love avocado and add a little bit of Mexican crema or sour cream to it. So you're not drowning your food in a ton of sour cream. It's really sure. mostly the good fat of the avocado. Yep. So we're gonna add a little lime juice to this. Okay. We've used limes in everything. Yep. Your beautiful slaw salad yep. we've got dressed. Yep. Had a lot of lime and tequila. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little kick. A little, a little something wake you up. Um, and so we've got our juice of one lime. Just a hint, just like a half teaspoon of, of ground cumin in our sauce okay. too. A little salt, right? Season as you go, every yep. layer. And then a little bit of Mexican crema, which is in most grocery stores. If you can't find it, a little dollop of sour cream. Yep. But a little goes a long way. Mostly we're just adding acid to our avocado and making it spoonable for our tacos. Okay. So we'll let that go. Come on okay. down in. Okay. You can grill up uh, our tortillas. Okay. Now when you're making tortillas at home, you char them. If you have a gas burner, you can do this. You can throw them right on the burner. Like that? Just like that. And you just let them blister about 30 seconds on each side. You okay. babysit that. Okay. If you have an electric stove, do not use a nonstick pan. Use a stainless pan or cast iron pan. You can't heat nonstick pans without something in them. You cook these dry. Do not put oil in a pan to cook a tortilla. Okay. That's Blister. not how this is done. You're just charring and blistering them. Oh, oh okay. Good. Just keep going. And okay. then you put them in a little blankie to keep them warm, and that's oh, pretty much all hard. there is to it. Yeah, I could do this. <laughs> our crema looks good. I'm gonna transfer the crema. The slaw looks great. I think our fish is just about ready to come off. This is a delicious <laughs> meal that tastes really hearty, but it's actually super good for you. It's made with meaty, sustainable fish. You can use mai mai, you can use halibut, you can use cod. We had cumin, smoked paprika, coriander, salt, pepper. And then we did a liquid marinade to bathe the fish yep. in that too. Which made it smell really good. Right, it was the chipotle, because you love barbecue. That's right. Chipotle balanced with sweet. In this case, we used agave, light agave. Uh, and then we had a little garlic and ginger in there. So it's good for you too, because ginger's an anti-inflammatory, right? Absolutely, yep, yep. Okay, and chilies are very good for you. When you go to serve this, I douse the fish with a little lime juice right when it first comes off the grill. And then you just flake it into nice, big, beautiful chunks. Can I make you your first fish taco? Please, I'd love to. Okay, yeah. so we took our avocado crema. This one looks great. Okay. And this is mostly avocado, lime juice, and a little bit of sour cream or crema, mm -hmm. right? Spread that down, that's kind of your glue. Okay. Then a little of your slaw. Okay, oh, no, no slaw, no slaw, no slaw. No slaw? No slaw. You're not gonna eat vegetables? Hey, I gotta take it slow, I gotta take it slow. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't drink enough water either. Radishes? Yes. Can you eat radishes? I thought I would escape the show without you saying that, but you, you got it in there. Such you always get it baby. in. <laughs> Such a baby. A little cilantro? Yes, yes. That's a little bit good. of herb? Yeah. A little bit of pickled jalapeno or no? No. 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 You're such a wuss. What's this? A crumbled queso? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A little yeah, bit of cheese? Yeah. A little crumbled... No, I'm going to Mexico in two weeks, so this is like my first... Yeah, you're going to have to get All over right. your fear of slaw, because yeah, they well. put it on everything. <laughs> and then a little bit of our grilled flaky fish with all of those nice spices. Actually, let me be honest with you. It's not the slaw that's a problem. I'm a teetotaler. I've never had a drink in my life. Uh huh. And my whole life, so there's tequila in here. So oh, we don't want I to... appreciate that. Yeah, that's so I'm, cool. I'm just being honest. So there I, you, you know, go. I like that. You don't want me falling out in the show. No, I don't. <laughs> there you go. Try that. You tell me. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Isn't that really good? Oh. It's spicy, mm. but it's light and refreshing. Mm. Isn't that nice?